December 1st. I have been transferred to the Infera station. I had no idea why I was transferred, but I was. Upon speaking with my superior, I learned not of my transference, but of my new tasks. I am directed to observe, document, and speak with the test subjects in this location. December... I find it fascinating how these people have survived. They're all... impossible. Anomalies. The answers to questions I've long since dismissed in my childhood. I never knew they existed before, but they do. My superior calls them them, and they're irregular. I find myself in awe of them. President Arthur arrived himself to speak to subjects in the facility, specifically mine. I was able to, after attempted dissuasion from my peers, approach the president and ask him a question. Even in his frail and weakened state, his eyes looked as though they knew the outcome of the many struggles and situations. Even if his people didn't. I... December 31st. Subject, Ulysses Brand. Age 43. Ethnicity, Intelligent. Doctor's Log. I've been ordered to journal everything that happens. Upon inspection, I don't quite fully understand this person's capabilities or why we have him sealed behind glass. The room has its own ventilation system designed to clear the air every five minutes. I've checked for any type of toxic gas in the room and found none. This is a very queer case. The man appears to be perfectly healthy. Perhaps I shall attempt to speak with him at some point. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to document between these cases. Just to journal. Perhaps I wait for something to go wrong? Log number two. Another specimen I must analyze today. In total, there are three I must document today. This one is simply codenamed Cyrus. I bet whoever came up with that name thinks they're cool. Anyways, I should follow procedure. Don't want to get fired this early after training. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's Lock. Cyrus is, according to the chart, a shade. Fun. I have no idea what that means, and I truly hope that doesn't hurt me in the long run. I will, however, be interested to poke and prod him. Perhaps I can see what his powers do. Log number three. Finally, I can watch the final subject and leave. Go home to the kids. I've just been watching these people all day. That's it. Nothing else. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 23. Ethnicity, Eternal Cityer. Interesting. The enemy has them too. I wonder, what happens when they decide to use them on the battlefield? Will we still be... at war? Upon closer inspection, this one disgusts me. Her choices in life are... shall I say... subpar? She doesn't do anything besides read. Perhaps it'll be interesting to discover her powers. January... The days have come and gone. I feel so alone locked in this prison. I wonder, is it truly to keep these people from the outside world? Or the outside world from these people? We've done tests on this Cyrus person a few times. Aurelius and Harry have come in, sedated the patient, and removed him from the room. But other than that, no success with any of the specimens. Eventually, I shall find their powers. Give me time. Log number one. Subject, Ulysses Brand. Age, 43. Ethnicity, Intellant. Doctor's Log. I attempted to speak with the subject today. He merely sat and stared at the one-way glass. I did, however, notice something peculiar. This man shakes his legs as if he were nervous, but whenever I stop talking for longer than ten minutes, he returns to normal. Apparently, I will have to rethink my strategy. I'm keen on learning how these people got in here, how they discover their powers, and how did President Arthur find them. Log number two. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's Log. Cyrus seemed interested in only one thing when I spoke with him. Politics. Interesting. A man locked in Inferis Containment Facility cares not about myself or his family, 
but instead his country. I responded, of course. I spoke of the current political situation, how President Arthur's term is almost up, how the king despises him and his policies, though what will the king do about it? He's merely a puppet. How Parliament supports yet another term for President Arthur, and so do the people. How we have elections in a month, and President Arthur's own son is running against him, with a seasoned veteran named Marshal Vance. When I finished describing the political landscape, the man snickered and returned to his push-ups. Log number three. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 23. Ethnicity, Eternal Cityer. Doctor's Log. I believe I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This subject is disgusting. She keeps her hair in a ponytail. She's given the standard jumpsuit, but has chosen to rip holes in it for, according to her, style. I attempted to speak with the disgrace today, but all she did was scream and punch the two-way mirror. February 14th. I feel my mind slipping away the longer I work here. I began hearing tapping from the ceiling above me. I think it's beautiful how when Ferris personnel cannot keep rodents out of the air vents. What happens if one of the subjects comes into contact with... Hmm. That gives me an idea. Plagues are often carried by rats. There are also the guinea pigs of many experiments. Perhaps I can release a rat into each of the subjects' chambers and see if they'll use their powers to destroy it. Log number one. Subject, Ulysses Bren. Age, 43. Ethnicity, Intellant. Doctor's Log. I wonder who the bad guys are. Are we the bad guys because we lock up these people? Or are we the good guys because we're keeping them off the streets? I still don't know. When I attempted to speak with Ulysses, he nervously shook his leg and peered directly into the one-way mirror. I will get this man to speak. The others already have. Log number two. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's Log. It's been a few days since elections, and though I felt my mind slip from me this morning, I believe I'll be level-headed enough to speak with this subject. This man is a self-proclaimed unconventional. There are a few of those around, but that basically means he is against the monarchy, and against our ways of life. I've had a heated debate with him almost daily. I understand why they found him. A man like this couldn't have stayed hidden for long, not with his ideals. He would stick out like a sore thumb the moment he started a conversation. He asked me who I'd be voting for today, Arthur Eris or his son, Galahad Eris. I told him I'd vote traditionalist, of course. President Arthur will end the war. I'd be able to see my son sooner rather than later. He snickered at that. So I questioned him and his beliefs on the eternal war. He believes that we've lost our reason to fight the enemy long ago, and the true reason we fight is to keep our population from exceeding our planet's limits. I laughed at him. He couldn't be more wrong. Log number three. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 23. Ethnicity, Eternal city -er. Doctor's Log. I asked the subject what the Eternal City was like. Though it's the enemies, I've always been curious. There are no Eternal books here. We don't even know who they worship, only that they speak the same language, but strangely. She told me how wonderful it was, the towering buildings touching the clouds with windows that reflected the bright blue of the sky above. The bustling streets filled with people were hardly moving about, but not too busy to say good morning to the people crossing with them. This place sounds... intriguing. I wish to visit there someday, if only to study its people more. February. I voted. I can't remember who I voted for, though. The most important election in my lifetime, perhaps, and all I remember is going to the booth. Then nothing. I must have voted for President Arthur. I don't see any reason to vote progressive. Huh? Sounds like there's a rat in the vent again. I should call containment. Log number one. Subject, Ulysses Bren. Age, 43. Ethnicity, intellant. Doctor's log. 
This man did literally nothing. The entire shift. He laid in his bed and stared at the wall. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I have been preparing for this day. A day full of boredom. I have brought three rats, one for each specimen's cage. I shall dim the lights to 25% and release the rat. And voila! The rat is in the cage. I suppose I'll play some music as I wait. Nothing. He only nervously shook his legs. That's it. Disappointing. I shall move on. Log number two. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's log. The shift is nearing a close, and I nearly forgot to do my audio log. The specimen was silent for almost half of my time, so I decided to release the rat. Cyrus at first thought more men were coming in to take him and test him. When he realized that wasn't the case, he grew still, dreading what would come next. When he saw the rat, he stomped on it, killing it. Then he flung it against the window and smeared the insides all over the glass. I'll leave containment to clear that up. Log number three. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 23. Ethnicity, Eternal city -er. Doctor's log. I wasted no time with this one. I released the rat immediately into a pitch-black room. She began screaming not long after. I can only assume the rat started climbing all over her, nibbling at her toes and fingertips. But when I turned on the light, she stopped screaming and the rat was resting in her lap as she pet its head. Perhaps she has a phobia of the dark. April... President Arthur lost the elections... to his son. Galahad Eris is the next president. I'm so... annoyed. I don't want him to be president. He's brash, abrasive. He doesn't want to end the war like his father did. Huh? I haven't heard that tapping in a few months. Odd. Log number one. Subject, Ulysses Bren. Age, 43. Ethnicity, Intellant. Doctor's log. All he ever does is nervously shake his legs. That's it. I'm getting sick and tired of this job. I'm resigning soon. Log number two. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's log. I spoke with him about the recent political climate. Many people don't remember voting for Galahad Eris. I don't. He smiled a knowing smile and continued sitting around. I explained the riots happening, how people are attempting to storm the king's palace and force him to override the presidential elections. Then I explained the massacre, and guards from on top of the palace began firing down into the crowd, killing many young people protesting. The young people responded by dispersing. But later, in the evening, an extremist group returned to the palace and firebombed it. The king and his family were rushed to the hospital in the middle of the night with third-degree burns. Arthur and Galahad Eris spoke during my lunch break about the terrorist attack. Log number three. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 23. Ethnicity, Eternal city -er. Doctor's log. I've left the lights off in her room for a whole week. At first, she screamed. Then she banged on the glass. Then she cried. Then she stopped doing anything. I believe my theory about a fear of darkness is correct. January. President Galahad has just been sworn in. I've been working at Inferis for a year now. I wanted to leave a long time ago, but now I don't want to. It's as if my entire mood changed. This place feels like home. I don't want to go anywhere else anymore. Not home, not to eat. Just here. Just to work. Just to observe these subjects. A special government agent is visiting today. Her name is Tara Tenebrae. I hope she will enjoy the progress I've made. Log number one. Subject Ulysses Bren. Age 44. Ethnicity Intellin. Doctor's log. I've finally gotten him to display his powers for me. He can release gas from the tips of his fingers if they have a cut on them. Interesting. 
The gas is toxic and will kill a human within minutes if inhaled. There are no known cures. Log number two. Subject, Cyrus. Age, unknown. Ethnicity, Grimlander. Doctor's log. I was not able to observe this specimen today. Tara Tenebrae came in and spoke with him. As she left, she congratulated me on the progress I've made and asked me to continue my work. I will. For her. For President Eris. Log number three. Subject, Sarah Dance. Age, 24. Ethnicity, Eternal city. Doctor's log. I recalled the way she acted with the rat. From my understanding, this specimen has nyctophobia, a fear of the dark. However, this does not hinder her powers. She is still completely capable of using them in the dark, but the fear of what could happen in darkness makes her panic. As for her powers, I've discovered that she is a zoo linguist. That is, she has the ability to communicate with animals. President Galahad will be proud of the work I'm doing here, said... What is that? I'm sick and tired of all this tapping. It's been going on for months. What? Who's there? I swear. Let me pull over this chair and just see what's in these air ducts. What is causing all this commotion? I sw- It's... a hair. How did you get up here? How are you alive after all this time? Snake! That hair had a snake where its tail should be. Are you kidding me? This is what I have to deal with at work? Oh no. Oh no. You're staying in there. I have no idea what you are. Frankly, I don't really want to know. In Ferris there's a whole bunch of weird experiments that I'm not even sure about, but I am definitely not going in there. Containment? Contain- January. I'm not too ecstatic about being here, especially after what happened yesterday. I don't think that- Lockdown initiated. That can't be good. Please vacate premises. Please vacate premises. I heard you the first time- Well, no time to check on the prisoners. Guess I better get outside. What is that incessant screaming coming for- Sarah, dance. Ah. Should I or shouldn't I? She is a filthy eternal city -er. Frankly, her nation is responsible for the death of my brother and Tom. And she's truly a disgusting individual. Lockdown initiated. Okay, can I really leave her here? Please vacate. There might not be any danger. Please it could be a false Oh no. Please vacate. The rabbit snake thing. Down the hallway. Of course I had to stop and spend time deciding whether or not to save her instead of just escaping. Of course, that's the thing that sent us into lockdown. Nice job taking care of it, containment. Looks like I have no choice but to go into the room with her anyways. Subject. There has currently been a lockdown initiated. I need you to... Why are you looking at me like that? It's trying to get in! Subject, I've noticed your powers. You can control animals. I will let you out of containment help you escape, just as long as you tell this demon rabbit off. Is that understood? Do you understand me? Guess I don't have a choice. I'm trusting you, family killer. Alright, now can you tell the beast to leave? Subject? Why are you looking at me like that? Just tell the beast to leave. I've seen you talk to animals before. Why are you... No, don't open that door! Please! Please, I've got a wife and kids. Subject! Sarah! I've got a family and I don't... Nice creature. Calm creature. You don't want to do anything? It's just been my job to watch her. I've done nothing wrong! Yeah!